Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video. My name is The Buddha and today we're gonna have a look at all the maps inside of Wild Forest and I will teach you my strategy for the first couple of turns what to do. Do you want to build a barrack? Do you want to build a mine? Or do you want to build a tower? I can already tell you, you don't want to build a tower. But let's dig right in. Please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing and have fun with the video. Before we get started with the first map, I want to say some general information. So we have smaller maps like the one you see here already and we also have bigger maps. Depending on the size of the map, you want to either spam your tier 1 units or even build up your buildings first and then upgrade your barrack to level 2 that you can play tier 2 units or sometimes even tier 3 units. So what you gotta have in mind Small maps, only tier 1, don't build your barrack up level 2 or level 3. On bigger maps, take your time a bit more. Also build more mines to get more energy to even be able to build tier 2 units. Also important general notice is smaller maps are more compact, which means you want to play AOE units. That means, for example, the knight. The knight with one sword attack can hit multiple targets. This is the splash effect. That's what it's called inside of Wild Forest. So smaller maps play AOE units. Also the picopter or Zeppelin called, that is also with the splash attack, can hit multiple enemies with one attack. This is very important for smaller maps. On bigger maps also try to put your units not all in one crowded place. We always want to be um, aware of a bomb maybe killing our whole team. So that's on bigger maps it's easier to spread them apart a bit more. This was the general information, let's get down to the different kind of maps. Looking at the first map, it's a really small map. That's why at first we want to build one barrack. Then move to the lower part of the map and get the big space with the two uh, places where we can build more. So move your scouting swordman, the one that we get at the start of every game, move it to the downside while you're building your first barrack. Then build your second barrack. Don't build a mine first. We want to use the first mana to be able to spam as many units as we can. We want to spam them and create them faster than our enemy, especially on small maps. This is very important. Then your third building that you're going to build is going to be a mine. This mine is going to provide us with enough mana to build more tier 1 units. Last thing is we will build another unit with our first barrack and this unit will move one place down and build a second mine. And then from there on it's just spamming tier 1 units and destroying your enemy. Next map we have up here, it's a bit bigger and we have more places that we can actually conquer. So first things first, we'll build one mine. Here on a bigger map, it's important what you wanna build first. Of course, you wanna spend your first mana for a mine because as long as you have that mine, as more energy and mana it can build up. So first a barrack, uh, sorry, a mine, then a barrack. And with this barrack, you can then move your first soldier the scouting soldier that we have we can move it down and out of that barrack we can then build two more mines to get more energy because this is a big map and we will need a lot of energy to get tier 2 units because here we have the time at first it's not about spamming the tier 1 units as you've been seeing in the last smaller map here it is about having enough resources to actually build up bigger barracks and higher tier units. So then we'll go to the middle again and here as you can imagine we'll build two more barracks. And with these three barracks and enough of mana support we can then spam units and conquer the middle part of the map and then from there on build either a tower or maybe another barrack to spam more units or even build up a level 2 barrack and then go for pickcopter, the knight, sniper, whatever tier 2 unit you prefer. If you don't know what kind of units you want to choose or what's matter right now, just check out my last video. I will put it up there in the description and uh, there you can see my team that I'm playing right now. 
to conquer the air meta and also play the air meta myself. Next up, we have the first desert map. And this is also a bigger one. Here we have two different kind of strategies that I sometimes follow. I bet there's also a third one out there. If you have a different strategy anyways, just let me know them down in the comments below. I would also like to learn from you guys, of course. And um, I will show you my first strategy so it's moving down first and getting this big land here because this big land here has three building spots we would like to have in this strategy this big spot because we can also be really annoying with the spot i will show it to you in a couple of seconds so first up go down with your scouting soldier also of course build one barrack first then we'll build a mine because as you can see again it's a bigger map we will have time here we don't have to spam the tier one units we do have time here to build up our barracks and our tier two units then next up after we went down with the scouting uh, swordman we will use one unit that's coming out of your barrack and move up to get the upper spot the two spots and build there another two barracks that's why we need them here first. We have three barracks, it's a big map. At the same time, down here, we can also build another mine just to support us with enough mana. And then just from there on spam until this time, this middle part probably will already be taken by your enemy. This is typical, but we will have so much mana and three barracks that we will just be able to spam the tier one units until we actually get the middle part here. What is also a tricky part, what I already always see is uh, if my enemy does this strategy, then he builds one tower all the way on my side here. I mean, this is now the enemy side, but this is very tricky because yeah, the enemy in this case will lose units at the same time when they're trying to get this land off of me. So this is definitely a nice um, planned here. Now let's check out the other strategy that might be a bit faster but not as safe as this one. Strategy number two. Here we again build one barrack at the start and then instead of moving down we will move up to get that spot first to then build there one barrack and one mine and now we don't spam the tier one units to get the middle part we now try to actually get the lower part afterwards. This will be hard when we have, for example, the enemy already taking this land and just standing with one unit down here. But then, for example, we could try with our archers to actually kill that unit over here, which is hiding here. And if that is not working um, with stealing this land down here, then we'll just take the middle land anyways, because if he is concentrating on the lower part, then we will be concentrating on the middle part here. But yeah, as I said already, this is a bit more difficult to do. I always prefer the first strategy, but I also see other players trying to do this. And yeah, you still have the chance if you can't get the lower land that at the same time you will get the middle part here. And then exactly if you get the lower part, then just build one barrack here and then spam your units from here. Maybe at the same time, you can then also get another mine over here and uh, then you have enough energy for sure and enough mana. I always confuse energy and mana here. Um, but with two um, mines and three barracks, you definitely have enough uh, resources to spam here and get the middle part. Well guys, that was it already for today. I hope this helped you out in maybe seeing what you did differently before. I can definitely recommend you this. I did not only work this out by myself. I talked to people uh, out of the top 10. I talked to people from the top 100. I talked to people from the top 300 because depending on where you are on the leaderboard, your strategy will be a bit different. But thanks everybody that uh, helped me here working on this, for example, Hybrid, G, and many other people out of the Discord. Thank you guys so much. And if you have any questions left, let me know them down in the comments. I'll make sure to answer each and every comment you have or question you have. If you have any ideas, what kind of content you wanna see, also let me know. And then I thank you guys so much for watching. Please consider subscribing, give it a thumbs up, and I see you guys on the next video. Until then, save the planet.